I'm a huge fan of plunger cutters because they're quick and they're easy. I have a few different ones. I have this one that's a little blossom cutter. This actually came in a set of three. This is the largest one, so they get pretty tiny. This is a Wilton plunger cutter that actually came with a set of different cutters. You get a couple of different flowers and I, there was even a little bitty leaf one that came with it um, and then the plunger thing is just interchangeable. So I'll show you real quick how we're going to do these. I'm going to roll my fondant out to 1 16th of an inch. Just get it to a nice even thickness. And then you're just going to take your cutter and the fondant should stay in the cutter like that. Then put it flat on your shaping foam and kind of push the plunger and that will give you the indention in the middle that kind of makes the flower center. And you can just take a little sugar pearl and if the fondant's soft, it should stick right in there. Make a few more. Also, the other flower shape has petals that look a little bit like shamrock leaves same method. Just cut out your shape. The fondant will stay in the cutter. Put it over on the shaping foam. Plunge it out. The plunger will give you the little indention where the center is supposed to go. And there's your flowers. That's what I used to decorate this cupcake here. This one is the exact same method. You're just going to cut out the shape. Plunge it out onto your shaping foam. And this one's plunger, I think, actually does a better job of getting the middle indentation in the center of the flower. And then just add your little sugar pearls. Voila!